what if uh, life was not a luxury? Like, we literally, what am I wanting to say here? We can't take for granted what we have. You know, I'm sitting here thinking about YouTube and how awesome of a platform it is, not just because of the different array of information that is online and available for people to consume, but it's the internet. Most people don't even know how the internet functions or works. So you mean my cell phone can get online and somewhere, somehow, I'm able to view any page, like book material and articles around the world? How do, what? I'm able to go on YouTube and just look up something and learn about it in minutes? Do what? I'm a 80s baby. That crap wasn't around. We had dial-up and the AOL compact disc. You probably don't even know what that is. And dial-up was a luxury. I, man, if we can just not think about trying to be so professional, I think the pressure of trying to be professional can sometimes hinder our output. Does that make sense? It's okay to be professional, polished, and and decent, and things of this nature, but sometimes that hinders our output. You may have more draft copies than you do final copies of whatever it is. I'm thinking production and media or writing as an author, your paintings, whatever. Just think about it. If we just we just have fun enjoying what it is that we produce and just put it out there unapolog- unapologetically, don't care, nonchalant, you care. But not what other people think. See, whatever you have in your files or hidden away just for your eyes only or people in your circle should be worthy to be put out in public if it's morally right, you know, or whatever your morals are, or whatever whatever you do, you know, if it's if it's legit for that moment or group or culture. That's amazing to me, you know. And I bring this up because I have a great deal of information and content. Books, probably four books that are just in draft mode. And I'm constantly building other draft books. Like nothing is final. And, you know, that could be due to just output and dedication and persistence with a single project. and You know, the obvious. However, in the back of my mind, I'm like, but this is a great idea. And this is too. And this is too. What if I just did a book or some, a, a, you know, something that just focused on my thoughts? And then people will get in my head and people will be able to misuse me and manipulate me and this and that and blah, blah, blah. And this is my thoughts. These are my questions that come to mind. Oh, they'll try to know where I'm coming from, you know. Who cares? You understand? So the I, I was watching a video the day, Oprah Winf- Winfrey, and she was just saying, uh, well, she's saying that somebody else said, this to her. I think it was Maya Angelou who said it to her and said, hey, look, you'll never understand the legacy that you live behind because the very people that you don't even know whom you touch, say like these videos and things of this nature, everybody don't click like. Everybody may not watch the entire thing or they may watch the entire thing, but they may not comment or click like or subscribe. And that'd be the very thing that YouTubers be looking for. And they base their content and their message and their production skills and the time and, 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 and invested, the effort given, all based on a like. People probably don't even know how to click like. People don't even know how to comment. They just know the video is there. They saw you. They were inspired. They were touched. You will never know the legacy that you leave behind. Because there's so many people. The way I dress may mean something to somebody else. Like, hey, just be yourself. Who cares what other people think? What you do may not be the most popular. You can do it too. You know, your walk sends a message to people. You have influence. You have knowledge. You have 
proper speaking. You have swag. You have Ebonics. You have, you know, your slang and things of that nature that people can be comfortable with when you utilize it or they see errors in your presentations here on YouTube. And you can be like, hey, they you know they can look at your, your, your output and be like, hey, if he can do it, I know I can do it because that was crappy. But I watched it from beginning to end. You know what I mean? And so don't. Don't uh don't don't put so much pressure on yourself. It's insane. People put so much pressure on themselves trying to be perfect. Oh, is that it? It's never gonna be finished. I don't think we can create things on the real true standards. Man, this is important. I don't think that we can create the type of content we really truly desire to create. There's always gonna be room for growth. Because the more we find out about ourselves and our skill sets and level, we're like, oh, man, I should have did that. Oh, man, I should have implemented this. Oh, man, I should have did that, too. And it's like if we look back at uh, material that we did years ago, it could be like, man, I was in the elementary phase or I was on to something. Oh, man, I should have stuck with that. All those years I wasted. If I would have stuck with that one thing, it would be so popular right now. You know what I mean? Like right now, I've never recorded a video via YouTube app itself. I always record it on my phone, touch it up, you know, then publish, maybe, you know. But I was like, man, forget it. Just get started right now. Open up the app. They allowed me to record right in the app, right in the YouTube app. And I was like, shoot, let's roll with it. And so this is what you get. I'm going to try to do more raw material and uh, present it not because I'm being lazy. I just don't want you to miss out. I don't want to miss out. I want to build something. I don't know what I'm building, but I know that I have to quit putting so many guards up, so many, uh, you know, uh, perfection, you know, that perfection mode. I got to turn it off. I got to just be myself. These are just simple conversations. If I'm having a conversation with somebody or FaceTime, this, I have to consider this to be that. Yes, it's informal. Yes, but that's what we need. Yes, we got classroom material on YouTube. If you want that, go get that. But in the meantime, you, yourself, I'm talking to you. Put out some content that is amazing. Enjoy it. Love what you do. Be a, you know, appreciate what you do. But um, don't just keep putting it off. Please don't. I'm waiting to hear what you got to say. All right, man.